I today I would describe it as the near nervous system of the universe. I think it's much more accurate when we are trying to compare it to something that we know. Um, more than a huge uh, biblioteca. Yeah, it's it's a library. It, it's a it's a huge library. Uh, but when I was a child and my guides were trying to show it to me, um, I had the, in my mind the idea of a, of a library. And uh, as I was growing up, I saw that the libraries, that the books were not books. When I look closely, they look like nectar, like a drop of nectar where the information was reflected. So I started to describe it as a beehive and uh, so on, you know, so, so it, because it evolved, yeah. the, the reality starts to shape according to what you are able to see. So suddenly, um, now that I understand uh, the connections of the reality, I can describe it as a neurological system um, with neurons sharing pulses of positive and negative data, uh, uh, trespassing from one side to another, and that are the magnetism of the planet, magnetism of the stars, uh, the magnetism of everything that is moving energy. So the data is not storage in books, but moving through one cell to another. It's, it's constantly changing, constantly changing. The, the ways you see it, the ways you perceive it, the ways you access it is constantly changing. There are some, some clues that of course are constant, but actually in, in the minimum realm that people call the quantum uh, mechanics, um, which is the, the atomic realm, um, the, the information is organized in a way that always shape themselves in a different order, but they always share data from one point to another. So uh, it's positive and negative data being shared. 